Hey everybody, Adam here for True North Wilds with the December RLM Elite Box. This month I got the Multi-Species Elite Box. They were a little bit sneaky. It doesn't say RLM Elite anywhere. Uh, it has the shipping label. It says it comes from Simple Fishing. I wasn't sure exactly what it was, and so I actually opened this ahead of time, saw that it was in my box, and uh, didn't look too closely. So I ruined the surprise a little bit for myself, but uh, I don't think it's going to affect things too much. So this is December's RLM Elite from Simple Fishing. This is the multi-species box, simplefishing.ca if you want to check them out and their other boxes that they have available. There's pike, bass, walleye, um, great product. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, open this up again, and at this time I'll actually take a look and see what we got. So while I'm doing that, don't forget, if you're not already, you can follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash truenorthwilds, on Instagram at truenorthwilds, and of course our blog site, truenorthwilds.com. As usual, it looks like we got a nice full box here, mix of hard baits and plastics, and it looks like a good mix of styles too. So we're gonna start off with some plastics. I got the Crazy Hick Bait Company, I love the name. I've gotten one or two products from them before, and if I recall, they've been pretty good. These are the Dexty Dew Grub, 3.5 inch in midnight blue. I like the look of these. I like the plastic, and there is a lot going on. You can see it's got the sparkles, it's got that really nice midnight blue color, it's got these fins along both sides, so there's lots of texture, there's lots of stuff going on in the water as you pull this through, it's gonna make a lot of turbulence through the water. It's got this big, wide, flat tail that's also ribbed. Um, just a lot going on with this plastic. I think that's gonna make a lot of noise in the water, a lot of turbulence, a lot of action. I think it's gonna look really good. Feels a little bit on the softer side, but it also feels fairly sturdy. It's a nice, soft plastic, but Feels like a soft, sturdy plastic, so that's good. I'm looking forward to trying this. This is an interesting color, interesting shape. Um, I really like this. Uh, this will be great for bass in this area. Probably get some pike on this too. Just uh, all around neat plastic. I'm looking forward to trying that out. Next plastic we have is some um, X-Zone plastics. XZoneLures.com, this is their Pro Series, and it is the Hot Drop Shot. The Hot Drop Shot. I've gotten a few X-Zone products before and they usually have a scent. Yeah, so that's that, uh, they have a, sort of a unique scent. You can always kind of tell that it's that X-Zone scent um, and it's a pretty strong scent. It seems to work pretty good. I love the shape of this plastic. It's just a nice finesse style plastic. It's not super bulky. It's not gonna make a lot of noise or turbulence in the water. Um, it says on the package, you know, it's for a drop shot. You drop this in, it's a trailer. You got that nice wiggly tail, so you're gonna entice the fish in that way, as opposed to something that you would cast and retrieve. You can still cast and retrieve with it uh, on a small jig, but this, that drop shot setup is where this is gonna really shine. The color on this is really nice. It's got that purple bottom, and you all know I'm a sucker for purple. Uh, so that nice purple bottom, and then on the top is this sort of olive green and overall the plastic is kind of clear it's not a solid color so it's kind of it's really nice this will be a really nice finesse style um like i said in that drop shot setup or even just on a small jig casting and just leaving it on the bottom and bouncing it on the bottom uh, things like that smallmouth bass i think are going to go crazy over this looking forward to using that in the spring up next we have the excite baits seven inch Raptor tail worm in green pumpkin blue. So I've had excite baits hard baits before and they've worked really well Haven't had the plastics. I don't think uh, I might have but I'm not entirely positive But this is a big long seven inch worm and you can see all the sparkle in there That's that blue sparkle. It's that natural olive green sort of color and uh, with those blue sparkles in it It, it looks really good it's got the twister tail. It's got a one really dramatic twist in the tail. And then it's got one nice little finishing feature is it's got sort of a ball end on the tail. So that's kind of cool to see. Just something different as opposed to just going with the flat twister tail. Um, I love using worms. Swanmouth bass around here go crazy for them. I've caught walleye and I've caught pike on worms. Um, so it's always nice to have extra ones in the arsenal. I have no doubt this will work very well. I'm interested to see how that ball affects the action in the water on the end of the tail there. That's a neat little feature that I don't see very often. I'm not sure if I have anything quite like that. So moving away from the packages of plastics, we have some swim baits, some rubber swim baits. So these are plastics, they're just pre-rigged. So these are the Tackle Industries Little D 
and they look like sort of a goby style of shape. Open this up, take a look. Uh, root beer is the color. It uh, doesn't, doesn't really say a model. Um, I guess little d is the model. doesn't say much of anything else, but root beer is the color. And that definitely is appropriate. It is a root beer color and it's got this nice variation of colors so it kind of goes darker and then it's got some lighter patches and then darker and then it's at the end a little bit lighter and see-through it's got these black sparkles in it it's got this long tail on it which is fairly thick long thick tail and the twister tail and it ends in this sort of this cutback sort of style which is really cool so i imagine this is going to give off a lot of action in the water got your one hook on the top decent size hook decent size lure it's got a decent weight to it it's actually uh, it's not super heavy but this will be something you can cast and retrieve fairly easily and vary up your speeds and vary up your depths with it this is a cool lure I like this plastic feels really cool um, does not smell like root beer unfortunately it smells like plastic that would be really fun if it smelled like root beer, but I don't know how well that would work on fish. Either way, this will be a fun lure to use in the spring. I'm looking forward to trying that out. Pike, for sure. I'm not sure if walleye around here will go after that. Uh, smallmouth bass most likely will go after that. Moving into some hard baits. So we have another Excite Baits lure. This one is a hard bait. It's called Silent. Dives 2 to 5 feet, tungsten ball bearings. Uh, XB1S Ghost Sexy Shad is the color. I don't know where they come up with names for all the colors on the different lures, but Sexy Shad seems to be a popular one. So let's open this up. So this is the Ghost Sexy Shad color. It's got that nice pattern on it, the nice yellow line, the black spot. It's got a little bit of orange on the front. Nice square diving bill. So this is a nice square bill diver. So a good bass lure, bouncing it off sticks and rocks and everything at the bottom there. Some big hooks on it. And even though it says it's silent on there, got a little bit of a rattle. Little, very, very subtle rattle. I can see why they call it the silent. And looking inside, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but looking inside, there is a one single ball bearing in there, but it's in almost fully encased and it has very little movement and I don't even know if we can pick up the sound so it's just a small little tap 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 it's a very muted rattle which is interesting lots of sparkle on this lure dives to a good depth um, I think the it's flashy you know the sparkles and everything I think the flash will draw things in and I'm curious to see how that really subtle tap 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 very muted tap is going to work i think this will be an interesting lure to use i'm pretty sure i'll be able to catch fish on this um i've never had a rattle so muted like that and i'm curious to see how that is going to work really curious to see how that's going to work uh, so that's a cool lure uh, i like excite bait stuff they make really nice hard baits so vexan deep thud series fat boy uh, so this is a bass lure another square bill depth four feet Really nice color on this. Uh, the color is Chartreuse King. So the Chartreuse King is the color. Let's open this up. So this is a bright lure. <laughs> I can see where they why they call it the Fat Boy. That's a really cool shape. Big belly on it. So you got your diving bill, you got your narrow tail, and you got this big pot belly. I love it. I love that shape. It's a really cool shape. Very blunted nose. Um, and then the color on this is fantastic. The chartreuse king so it's got the stripes sort of the, the perch stripes and some spots there almost like a fire tiger color but uh, very very bright and then orange on the bottom that nice bright chartreuse color so this will be very very visible in the water and i'm assuming because it's called the deep thud nice big thudding rattle so that's yeah big heavy duty bearing in there big rattle so down Bouncing this off rocks and stuff, it's got a nice wide bill on it. So just an all around beefy looking lure, beefy sounding, flashy. It's gonna be very visible. It's gonna be very audible in the water. Bouncing that off rocks and stuff is gonna be a lot of fun. So that's pretty neat. Looking forward to trying that. I haven't had this brand before uh, to compare any 
to anything else. So looking forward to giving this a try and checking out the quality. It looks really nice, I can tell you that right off the bat. Last up in the box, we have the Tackle Industries Super Slicer, and of course Super Slicer because it's a blade bait. I love my blade baits. I'm always excited to get them. Super Slicer doesn't have a name for the color or anything else, but it's a one quarter ounce blade bait and you can see it's a nice green color with some stripes on there. One thing that I noticed right away that my other blade baits don't have is these blades on the back hook. So that's kind of neat. Adds an extra little bit of flash to that back hook. I really like that. That'll add, as it's fluttering, that'll add, uh, I'm assuming, some good fluttery flash on the back end. Um, so that's really interesting. I don't have a blade bait like that yet, so I'm excited to try that. But overall, nice, slim, good length, good size. So this will be actually really good for ice fishing. Uh, I'll probably use this tomorrow um, and over this weekend because blade baits, blade baits are just awesome. Uh, if you're not familiar with them, this really slim profile with the weighted head, you let them drop down and they have a flutter as they drop down and you rip them up just like you would with a rattler. You rip them up and as they go up, they vibrate. They don't rattle or they don't make any noise, but you get those vibrations in the water caused by the water going over this really thin blade. So it's vibrating the whole way up and then you let it flutter down. And those vibrations send off some really awesome signals to fish nearby, just the same way that a rattle does. So that deep thud series that I just opened up, that thud, 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 same idea, you're causing those vibrations in the water and the fish with their sensory lines or whatever they have on them that picks up all that stuff, picks up those vibrations. They hone in on it as a dying bait fish. So it's mimicking that dying bait fish where it's in its last stages, you know, it's just death and just vibrating or struggling, but just before it dies, right? So predator fish hone in on that and as it's fluttering down sinking, they're gonna attack it as a, a free, easy meal. So blade baits are fun. I'm looking forward to trying that out. I'm going to try it out right away when I get out on the ice uh, in the next couple days. So that's it for this box. All that we have left now is the the usual literature that comes. So you get your slam card if you want to uh, participate in the slam. So it gives you a bunch of spots to check off or poke holes in. So as you catch fish with, the, with each of the lures, you can mark off which fish you're catching. Um, and then you can submit your slam as a video or as pictures or whatever and brag. That's a lot of fun. The... Contest information card is all here. Links to their social media stuff, links to their uh, contests, you know. Share your RL RLM Elite Box on Instagram or Facebook. You can win your next one for free. Information on tagging them, all that stuff. And then the What's in the Box card, which has gotten an update since I last got this. So it shows what's in the box. It lists everything as well as the retail value to give you uh, comparables for, you know, if you feel like you're getting your value out of the box. And so far, I always have. Um, but on this side, they have the Elite Multi-Species card, and it shows a bunch of different species of fish and what they look like. So I like that. That's a, a really nice touch. Lake trout, bass, perch, white crappie. Um, that's neat. I like getting uh, I like getting graphical stuff like that. Stickers and, and cards like this are always uh, fun for me. That's it for that box. Uh, overall, a good box. I'm excited about the baits that I got. I would have liked to see more variety because it's a multi-species box. It would have been nice to see maybe something smaller for some trout or maybe like a spoon or something that's a little bit more versatile. I got two hard baits which are um, bass, you know, square bill bass baits basically. Uh, the plastics are pretty good, you know, multi-use plastics. Um, but yeah, it just would have been nice to get a little bit more of a versatility lure to kind of round out the species. but. Overall, nice box. Everything that I did get was really nice and good quality and I like the brands that I've gotten and I'm looking forward to trying some of these brands that I haven't tried yet. And of course, you know, the blade bait, I'm obviously excited about. So all in all, uh, another great box from Simple Fishing. Simplefishing.ca, if you want to check them out, like I said, you can get uh, pike boxes, you can get walleye boxes, bass boxes, multi-species. While you're there, if you like what you see, don't forget you can use promo code TRUENORTH for a 15% discount on your first subscription. Um, if you're not already, follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash truenorthwilds, on Instagram at truenorthwilds, and of course our blog site, truenorthwilds.com. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit those buttons down there, like and subscribe, leave a comment, let me know how I'm doing. And until next time, I will see you outside.